Now guys, important topic, which is one by 10 or one by 11 of versus two by 10 or two by 11 I'm running right now. I'm, I must, I must to tell you, I have to tell you for myself, definitely two by system. Uh, you know why? Because uh, many people will tell you that one by is much more comfortable in terms of shifting performance, like changing the gears, which is untrue. Uh, I'm not against, I'm running one by 10 on my killer and I like it, but this little crankset in the front, I have on my, my <laughs> testing BMC bike, it's working superbly, absolutely no problem. Difference between uh, the size of those chain rings is very little, but still I have wider range uh, of my gearing and I'm running like quite a steep hill on the largest uh, chain ring in the front, like playing with the cassette in the rear. There is no noise whatsoever coming from from uh, this uh, drivetrain and I really, really like it. So for my cross country and some marathon races, I'm just coming back to this season. I would really love to have two by, now what's this, two by 10 even, because 10 speed cassette will be just enough, some sharp corners, and I do feel comfortable. I don't think that there is a huge risk of uh, dropping the chain here because really this derailleur i'm not having time really to mount the camera on the on the bike and show you but this derailleur really does it so quick you don't actually feel like this changing the shifting uh, phase you go just straight from smallest smaller chain ring to the bigger one so that's about two by 11. I'm gonna give you more episodes on what can be the problem with one by drivetrain. 